everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me again here today's video as you can tell from the title is a lovely Karen Millen haul and this one's a bit of a special one and there's a little bit of background to this that um, my boyfriend David knows Karen Millen the actual Karen Millen um, and knew her and her husband Kevin back in the day when they still owned Karen Millen um, and have known, known them for many, many years. So that's kind of why I always sort of go towards Karen Millen. I've met her in passing, but never actually spoken to her. And her son um, used to date my stepdaughter's friend. So there's, there's a bit of a connection there, like a familial connect, collect, connection, can't speak. And Karen has done a collection as the founder of Karen Millen. So I thought a few pieces from that um, only a few, and then I've also bought some other things as well um, to create a sort of work wardrobe because that's sort of what it began life as. Karen Millen was very chic, um, feminine, but like powerful feminine um, outfits and things like that, so dresses and workwear and shirts and blouses and all that lovely, lovely stuff. So I've got some really, really good pieces here in two bags. It's quite a big haul, once again, as uh, sort of my spring purchases for the year hopefully it fits me well um, and I'm really looking forward to trying it on because I've now got the new boobs so they will fit sort of fitted clothes because that's something I always sort of struggled with before having an operation was fitted clothes did not fit me <laughs> they were they were baggy on me so I'm looking forward to trying on some really really lovely pieces and seeing how they fit and how they look and things like that so if you want to see what I bought then please keep watching so I've got everything out of the little packages and I have ironed everyone well, I've steamed everything Everything did need a steam because a lot of this is linen mix, so there was a lot of crinkles in some things and not so much in others. Actually, this hardly had, I had any wrinkles, and I feel like this is actually just polyester, it doesn't feel like it's a natural fabric. But it's all it all feels really good quality, like it's thick and chunky and really nice for wearing. So I've got a few pieces here, but quite a lot of white. I think I've got five pieces of white actually. Um, one beige, tan sort of camel colour, and blue. So I'm going to show you what they are and then I'll try them on for you as well afterwards. So this is probably my favourite piece, which was going to be my least, I think, favourite piece. I wasn't loving it on the model, but I did kind of like it, so I wanted to give it a shot. Um, I would change the belt out. I'd wear it with my Louis belt, to be fair, my Dauphine. Yeah, let's go around. But it's basically, it's denim and it's got this little, like, whipping stitch that you can see. On the detail now on the model i thought mm, it was this bit i wasn't so sure on this but now seeing it in person i actually really really like it it's really thick it's very long but it's a great dress for wearing to like an event or something in the day like a day event or a garden party um a charity do anything like that where you sort of want to look feminine but like you mean business so anything like where you're doing a talk or something like that so this is a really really good workwear staple to having your um, wardrobe a long denim dress you could have it this one's got an a-line but also the same again would work for a pencil or an empire type line uh, of dress so this is really nice i like the a-line and it's got pockets so i'll try that on for you in a bit next up we have a i've only done the belt because i've just steamed it but it's a jumpsuit a white i think it's a linen mix but it might just be linen it feels very nice it feels very lightweight on the skin and breathable it's incredibly long incredibly long and five seven this is going to touch the floor yeah this is going to be on the floor on me so i'd have to wear heels with it um a wedge or something like that would look really nice close toe wedge or um espadrille wedges that sort of thing but also again you could wear this with if you've got um, some flat point shoes. I always think that looks really nice on a wide leg trouser, like a point toe coming out, or a pointed stiletto, that sort of thing. But this to me is a bit too casual for a stiletto. Um, but you could wear it with like a kitten heel, like a pointed kitten heel, so like the Valentino kitten heels, that sort of thing. That would look nice, I think. But yeah, I wouldn't essentially really wear it with a high heeled stiletto. I'll try that one as well. And then next we have absolutely classic dress for wearing to work and i believe this is part of the founder collection might not be let me check actually i'm just going to find out which ones are the founders i've got two items here that are part of the founder collection yeah so this one is part of the founder collection 
And the reason I automatically just thought this was one of them is because this is synonymous with Caramillion. It's incredibly classic. It's a classic, timeless dress. It's never going to go out of style. It's never going to go out of fashion. You can wear this with stilettos. You can wear this with stockings. This is quintessentially sexy female who means business, in my view, in my personal view. I don't work in an office. If I did, I would wear something like this. I just love this sort of outfit. I had actually for um, for pageants in interview, you wear something like this and usually in a bold colour. And my first pageant, I didn't know that. And I wore a dress very similar to this for my, my first interview, um, pageant interview. It was a beige dress. It was very um, sheath like, like this. And it was beautiful. I've still got it in fact. And it's from Lipsy and it's just beautiful and it's so nice. And um, yeah, to me, this is like a great interview dress, things like that, so perfect. Okay, this one, I'm a little bit excited actually, this has got a mark on it. This has got like a little flick down the front or something, like a drip, something that's dripped on it. Um, but this again, classic silhouette. It's very lovely, it's got this little ruffle on the shoulder. It's not padded, but it's, well actually, no, it is padded. There is a pad there, yeah, there is a pad. It's got this lovely little ruffle on the shoulder, little cap sleeve with a little split at the back on the elbow. Not cap sleeve, three quarter sleeve, half sleeves. This is more of a half sleeve. Yeah, half sleeve elbow. Gorgeous. It's got a belt on it. I'd, again, I'd wear my own belt. I'm, I don't love caramel belts at all. They've just been really, really plastic to me. I love this. Um, so I've got this, this notch lapel. I've got this on a lovely jacket, um, a beige jacket that's just, and it looks so smart. So classic, I just love it, it's really timeless. And again, this is a lovely wiggle length, so just beyond the knee, I believe. Yeah, just below the knee. Absolutely classic, stunning dress. If you like to wear white to work, if you can get away with wearing white to work and it's not gonna get ruined, again, stunning, stunning dress. It's got a zip all the way up the back for getting into as well, just so you know. Love it. So this one is cute. This is more like a summer work wear outfit, I would say. This is a shirt dress all the way down with buttons to the bottom, no sleeves, sweet little collar, and then it's got a tie wrap around on the waist as well. And this is, I would say, just above the knee. It looks bang on above the knee. On me anyway, I'm 5'7", I've got a short body and long legs, um, just for reference. So my hips literally here, so I've got really little body. Um, yeah, and it's got little faux pockets on the front and some detail as well. So yeah, I really like that. It's really sweet. Now this one, this is gorgeous. This is the other dress from the Founder collection. And this is stunning. I just absolutely love it. It's so, so pretty. So it's in halter neck and it's got a low back, as you can see. And it's just so, so classic. It's got a zip up the front. It's got a tie belt around the waist in white, and again, I believe it's a little bit of an A-line, but not completely empire. It's just below the knee, so again, it would look lovely with your calves out wearing stilettos. Really, really beautiful. Doesn't have a split up the back on this one, which is, I figured it would, but it doesn't. Um, yeah, it's really, really nice. Has, again, the little faux pocket detail on the front. And then last, but by no means least, this is the same as this white one here, but in this deep navy shade. I thought it was really nice. I wanted to try it on in the, in the navy colour. Um, yeah, just because I like it. So, yeah, exactly the same. Buttons all the way down the front, tie around the waist, faux pockets, nice little collar on the top and sleeveless. It's really, really sweet and nicely fitted. So I'm just going to try these all on for you now and then we'll see what they look like and hopefully they fit me nice. I actually really love this dress. It was really easy to steam. I thought it was going to be a bit tricky because it's like a denim fabric, but it actually the creases came out a lot easier than I thought they were going to. So that's good because it's low maintenance, that sort of thing. So I hate things that just, oh, an absolute pain to get creases out of. Some denim is a pain to get creases out of. So this, this is gorgeous. It's really, really nice. The pockets are a little far back, I'd say, for where I'd want them to be. You have to like really grab backwards to get your arms in there. Um, I'm not really going to use the pockets, I just kind of like to hang if I'm standing around and put my hands in my pockets, that sort of thing. Um, but it's a little bit tight across my chest, which is quite funny actually. I do have a slightly padded bra on, so 
If I didn't have this bra on, it might be okay. This is one of those t-shirt bras from Primark with a bit of softness in them. Um, yeah, other than that, I really like it. I love, it feels really snug and comfortable. Like it's hugging me around the waist and around my back and everything like that. It just feels nice. And I like that closeness in my clothes. I like that fitted sensation in clothes. And the dress length is really, really nice. It's just above the ankle. It feels really, really demure and very classy. And it is just a lovely dress that you could wear somewhere like a garden party or a, something like an event in the daytime, walking around like a, a museum or an art gallery or going for a picnic. Just be careful where you sit, obviously. You don't want to stain your bottom. But other than that, it's a gorgeous dress and I really, really love it. So this is great, this is the jumpsuit. I'll put a little full length cutaway here for you so you can see what it looks like in full length. I've tried it on with some point toe low heeled stilettos. Just so you can see what it looks like with the point toe peeping out the front. I quite like that look, I think it looks really nice and classy. I love this jumpsuit, it's very lightweight. You can tell the linen is a good quality in it. It's not like scratchy against your skin or anything like that. It's very soft against the skin and it's lovely. It's got a nice amount of flow as you walk in it as well and I really like this notch on the collar I feel like it just makes it look a bit more sophisticated for workwear and things like that but you could also obviously wear it as a casual outfit if the casual smart casual is your thing so I think it's really gorgeous I actually think you could definitely have something like this in your sable wardrobe and dress it up and down with different belts jackets accessories that sort of thing so this is the first of the founder pieces from this haul and it doesn't fit me so unfortunately I won't be keeping it but I do love it so if I was going to be going somewhere where I wanted to be classic, not exactly stand out but still look really really um, elegant and feminine, this would be the sort of dress that I would wear because it's just, it's quintessentially feminine without being too masculine, without being too flouncy, it's right in the middle of where you'd want to look classic. It's just, I think this is spot on. It hits the mark right in the middle. So this one I absolutely love the silhouette of. It's absolutely stunning. However, it's too small for me. It's very tight on my arms and I can't get into it. Now the other ones I didn't do up, or I could have done, I just didn't bother because it's a bit of a struggle going from the bit where you can just sort of reach it to there. Or with this one, I can't get my arm up. This is as far as I can raise my arm, so it's not going to happen at all, even if I wanted to bother doing that, I can't. So it is too tight, but I do love it. It's so beautiful. It's such a classic, classic dress. Very, very boss, boss lady, this one. It's absolutely stunning. I just absolutely love it. This is gorgeous. I would change the belt out. The belt for me is actually too chunky. I feel like this would be better with a slimmer belt. So like my Omez and Rival belt, something like the Kelly belt. Um, yeah, but it's still really lovely. I would maybe, if I had a reason for wearing something like this, I would buy this in a size 10. Absolutely, because it's gorgeous. It's really nice. The fabric feels really lovely. And it's like a, I feel like it's a linen blend as well. I should really look these things up before I do these videos. <laughs> tell you exactly what the fabric is. Sometimes I do, sometimes I forget. Today I forgot. I love the notch on the neck again, very similar to the jumpsuit. It's just really classic and elegant and very feminine as well. So very, very sophisticated, absolutely gorgeous, just too small for me. So there's absolutely nothing wrong with this dress. It's so, so comfortable. It's lightweight. It's definitely got lots of linen in it because all linen in it, because all I've done so far is bend down to put on my shoes and it's creased all across my lap. So <laughs> you're going to be wrinkly if you're going to wear this dress, just be warned. That is what happens with linen clothes. You look disheveled. <laughs> I don't, it's the funniest thing, we love a bit of linen because it's so lightweight and it's comfortable against our skin. But yeah, we just have to put up with the crinkles, unfortunately. As soon as you wear it, that's it. Bang, crinkles. So yeah, if you want to wear something like this, this is gorgeous. Oh, it's got real pockets. There's little holes where you can put your fingers through with the stitches. So that's cute. You can either unpick those and use them as pockets if you want to, or you can just leave them closed. I would leave them closed because sometimes pockets when they're unstitched like this on the front would gape. And then I just think they look so untidy, but yes. So very cute. Really, really nice all the way around. The linen itself feels divine. It's really, really soft and smooth against your touch. You can feel the linen um, the weave as such, what do they call that? the threads of the linen, you can feel it on your hands but it's very soft and very smooth to the touch. Very nice. 
So this is the second dress from the founder part of the collection that I bought today and Karen Millen did say that she really enjoyed being back in the design process so maybe we'll see more from her in the future, we'll have to see about that. And I really love this dress, it's really really lovely, the white is very stark but also very soft at the same time so there's a lot of white going on with the belt and everything else. I personally would wear a different belt with this, I would just dress it up with maybe a brown tan belt or a navy belt or even a red belt for a pop of colour. I really like the low back on it, the open back, I feel like now that I have a bust that it can balance out my broad or my sticky outy shoulder blades, I've got a bit of scoliosis going on in my spine. Um, and before, I would wear a halter neck and it just wouldn't look right on me at all. I would have really broad shoulders and nothing going on here, so I would look quite masculine, I felt. Very tomboyish. But now, I feel more feminine and I can wear low backs and halter neck styles and really enjoy wearing them as well. I feel like they're very feminine and soft on me now. Now, this is the navy version of the white dress I wore two dresses ago and it's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Again, it's really, really soft against my skin. It's really, really sweet. A little shape as well. It has little pockets. I have styled it with a red like, elasticated belt just to show you what it looks like with a pop of colour. I have still got the little belt on it and I'll show you that in a second. Um, I've tied it around the back so you can see what that sort of looks like if you wanted to wear it that way because I think that looks really nice. Um, a little bit of detail on the back of a, what it would be a plain back of a dress essentially. So it's got quite a nice high collar. It does fit really lovely. I don't have a bra on at the moment and I feel like it does fit me a bit better than um, the white one was with the bra on so that's quite nice I can wear without a bra. Um, yeah there's not much else to say about it except that it's really nice. It's a lovely fabric, it feels great, it feels cool against my skin, this is great for taking on holidays with you, somewhere hot, excuse me. Sorry about that, and David's giving me a phone call. Yeah, so it's gorgeous. It'd be really, really good for wearing on holiday or something like that where it's gonna be hot because this is breathable. I can feel it so cool against my skin. I love how that feels, especially knowing when I was in Thailand, I did have something that was polyester and we were out and I had to take it off and buy something else to wear because it was too much. So yeah, definitely if you're going abroad anywhere, keep to natural fibers. It just makes such a difference to your comfort and your enjoyment of the day. So this lovely navy dress concludes this caramel and haul. Please let me know what you think in the comment section down below if you'd like to purchase any of these items yourself. I will of course link everything down in the description box for you as well. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you again soon for another video. Take care, bye.